Welcome to our YouTube channel, Learning English with Hassan. In, in this lesson, you learn the pronunciation and meaning of 10 words and 10 sentences and maybe more. All the words we are going to study today start with the letter H. Let's go and see the first word. The first word is hip. 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 Let's see the meaning of hip. So the hip is a joint connecting the thigh bone to the pelvis. The hip is a joint connecting the thigh bone to the pelvis. The hip is a joint connecting the thigh bone to the pelvis. So I am going to make it very easy for you to understand the hip. So the hip where you put the belt. So the belt we put it around the hip. So to put it very simply. So the hip is a joint that connects the thigh bone with the pelvis. Let's see the next word. The next word is hesitate. 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 Let's see it in a sentence. Hesitance means to pause or delay. Hesitate means to pause or delay. Hesitate means to pause or delay. So when you hesitate, you don't act. You just think before you act. You hesitate. You are not sure what to do. So that's it. This is to hesitate. When you don't know what to do. And you don't do anything. You just think about what you are going to do. Let's go to the next word. Hesitation. 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 The noun of the verb to hesitate. Hesitation is opposed, sorry, hesitation is opposed, influenced by uncertainty or doubt. Hesitation is opposed, influenced by uncertainty or doubt. Hesitation is opposed, influenced by uncertainty or doubt. So as I said in the previous slide, that when we don't know, when we are uncertain, when we aren't sure what to do, and or we have or uh, when we have doubt about something so we don't do anything we hesitate and we are in a state of hesitation let's go to the next word hockey 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 let's see it in a sentence Hockey is a team sport played by sticks uh, with sticks and a pack or ball to score goals. Hockey is a team sport played with sticks and a pack or ball to score goals. Hockey is a team sport played with sticks and a pack or ball to score goals. So you know hockey, so it's a kind of sport. Let's go to the next word. The next word is hardship. 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 Let's see it in a sentence. Hardship is difficulty or adversity that causes suffering. Hardship is difficulty or adversity that causes suffering. Hardship is difficulty or adversity that causes suffering. So when we are facing or, exp uh, or experiencing a hardship, so we suffer. So hardship causes suffering. Let's continue. Our channel has now 400 and 25 subscribers we'd like to reach 1000 subscribers please support us to reach this number 
our YouTube channel Learning English with Hassan has now 208 videos. If you are a beginner, please go to video number one. If you know English, go to any video. Viewers requests. If you need help in English, our channel will help you. How? Tell me your problem our WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp, uh, on our WhatsApp number that is clear in the screen and email also. And I will help you in the next lessons. God willing. Let's continue. The next word is hibernation. 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 Let's see the meaning of hibernation in a sentence. Hibernation is winter dormancy in animals to conserve energy. Hibernation is winter dormancy in animals to conserve energy. Hibernation is winter dormancy in animals to conserve energy. So some animals they sleep six months, so they are in a state of hibernation. Why they do this? To keep energy to save energy let's go to the next word honest 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 he is known for being honest in all his dealings he is known for being honest in all his dealings he is known for being honest in all his dealings. So there are some people who are honest. They tell the truth and they don't lie. They give you and they tell you the truth. So honest is the person who tells the truth. Let's go to the next word. Honesty is the noun of the adjective honest honesty 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 refers to the quality of being truthful sincere and free from deceit or dishonesty honesty refers to the quality of being truthful sincere and free from deceit or dishonesty honesty refers to the quality of being truthful sincere and free from deceit or dishonesty as I said before the person who tells the truth all the time is truthful and sincere and he doesn't deceive people he doesn't cheat people so that's the meaning of honesty let's go to the next word hypocrite 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 so hypocrite is the opposite of honest the person who lies who then who don't tell the truth who don't tell the truth so the person who doesn't sorry who doesn't tell the truth let's continue a, hyp a hypocrite is someone who says one thing but does the opposite a hypocrite is someone who says one thing but does the opposite a hypocrite is someone who says one thing but does the opposite so we have many hypocrite people in our life Hypocrisy is the noun of the adjective hypocrite. Hypocrisy is telling, uh, saying one thing and doing the other. So liars, hypocrites are liars. So hypocrisy, let's see it in a sentence. Hypocrisy is pretending to be something you're not. Hypocrisy is pretending to be something you're not. Hypocrisy is pretending to be something you're not. So. I tell you that I am a good person, but I am a bad person. So this is hypocrisy. That's the end of today's lesson. Thank you for watching. See you soon.